Good morning to all. Happy Friday. I hope you enjoy this week. Uh, welcome back to our weekly real estate news clip from Realty World South Florida to all of our associates and to all of our friends and colleagues. Um, this uh, quick version, I wanted to touch on a couple of things that are happening in our industry. They are amazing. Um, on Monday, the Standard & Poor released their chiller case reporting talking about um, where home sales have gone. And there was a lot of talk about in the media about how sales are going down and still going down. Um, I had the report and I looked at it to detail. Uh, there's something that caught my attention. Although the entire country it is still experienced a 3 to 17 percent drop month over month, uh, our area, South Florida, only experienced a 0.08 loss of value compared to last month was a 1% loss of value compared to a year ago, which was 2%. What that says is that South Florida is rebounding faster than the rest of the country. Also, California is experiencing the same factor. Uh, it's been said too many years that Florida and California are five years ahead of the country. I hope this time is right and that we are ahead of the curve because that's what I saw for the report. Once again, the case shell report that was released on Monday. If you want to take a look at it, let me know and I can forward it to you so you can review it. Uh, I wanted to bring to your attention also uh, HUD homes. HUD homes are government-owned foreclosure, not bank-owned, but homes that were foreclosed through Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. These homes are sold through a website called HUD Homes. Um, a lot of you have called me with questions regarding registration. Do I need to register? Are you registered? Do you have a HUD key? The answer to all those questions are yes. But selling a HUD home is not as simple as just filling out a contract. There's procedure, steps, you do need to be registered as an agent because uh, they need your information. Commission on HUD homes begins at 5%. That's how much you get paid as a buyer's agent. Uh, there's a seminar, I sent an email yesterday with a couple of dates that are going to take place regarding HUD homes. Uh, there's one on Wednesday uh, here in Fort Lauderdale. There's one on Tuesday, th Tuesday the 21st in Spanish and uh, Miami Lakes and there's another one in English and now uh, Coral Gables on the 29th. Please try to make time and attend the seminars because selling hot homes will be very profitable. When we're talking about 5% commission, so it'll be very profitable, but unless you know how to do it, you go get lost in the process. Um, also, uh, last but not least, I wanted to bring up to our, your attention uh, an email that I sent regarding rent versus buy. It's a report that came out on Time Magazine about a week ago, and it goes back to the first point that we had about the recovery on the real estate market in South Florida. Believe it or not, Florida, it's the only place, actually South Florida, Dave Broward and Palm Beach. When I, mean, when I say South Florida, I mean Dave Broward and Palm Beach. It's the only place where it's cheaper to own a home than to rent. Uh, our average Broward County rental per square footage price is $1.83. So you can take them to $183 a foot. Homes are selling in Broward County for as little as $60 a foot. Some $100, some $120. And they're renting for $183 a foot. You do the math. Is this a great time to buy? And I wanted to end this uh, broadcast by reminding you, if you need any help with any of your files, or any buyer, with any seller, with a listing presentation, myself and the rest of the staff is here to help you. Remember, we're not just 100% commission, we're 100 support, and we mean it. I want to wish you all a great weekend. Uh, see you next week. Bye-bye.